Hey guys, welcome back. Um, so yeah, uh, this is what's going on here. Booyah! Wait for it, booyah! Wait and one more. Bam! All right. So we got that all taken care of. So now we're gonna go this way. This room. Sorry, I just had to think for a second. So, mm -hmm. after this episode, I'm not going to be heard sp uh, specifically talking, uh, like specifically telling you why. Because I've just realized I don't like the way I do record stuff right now, so I'm going to change the way I do it. Anyways, just a little update. <gasps> Don't worry, the episodes will still be 25 minutes long. Get off! Jeez Louise, lady! Gosh dang! Yes, yeah, stay down. So we're gonna grab this, and then we can make our first full heal of the game. So both these doors are locked that I just walked past. This one is the only unlocked one, and this is the specific reason why we came here. We came here for this baby. I know, I know, it looks small and dinky and not useful at all, but it's actually one of the most useful items in Leon's mission. Hard to believe, right? Well, so you can use this in one of two places. You can either use it uh, in the desk that's in the first little safe room with the box that we come to, or you can do what all the good players of Resident Evil 2 do, and use it on the second location, which we have not actually come to yet. Anyways, we come in here, we're going with this, which is, not, is infinitely not okay. Yeah, please die. Thank you. Okay, he is now a crawler. Just gonna reload. Oh, come on, really? Nope. I am having a lot more trouble with this than I have ever had before. Like, oh, see, that's that's what you don't want happening. And then they just take bites and bites out of you. Oh, well, it'll be okay. See, if you notice that creepy zombie on the floor's face has been following me, that's because he's not actually dead. But, oh well. Alright. And it sounds so realistic, too. Alright, give me that map. Yeah. That's exactly what I wanted. Alright, we gotta go and hurry and do this quickly. Come around here. Da -da -da -da. Full heal. Nice. Ready to go. I have never had that much trouble with that sequence ever before. Like, I don't know what the deal is, but oh well. So we can reload our shotgun, keep it up in tip top uh, condition. Take our revenge on these zombies for trying to eat our brains. And generally just being jerks. So if we come over here, we can open our loot. Loot this guy, yeah. Not open. 
Um, this door goes outside, and there's three green herbs back there, but there's really no point for us to come, uh, go get them now, because we'll be coming back here soon. Anyways, so. Alrighty then, so now we've got that, so now we're just gonna head on back to this place. Where we can use the key that we picked up not too long ago. The first one, not the small key. Just gotta clarify that. So we're gonna dump this shotgun ammo. Uh, dump this green herb. We're gonna keep the spade key, the shotgun, and the small key on us. For now. So yeah, you could use it here, but all that's in there is just some hanging bullets. Where we want to use it is on the second location, which we have not actually reached yet. Which is a problem for us. Because we're not there yet. So. Alright, first place we want to go is use the spade key here. And then we can go in here. Uh, report. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to here? No. Freaking, there's three different hidden things in this room. Oh wait, I, I remember where it is now. I gotta move this all the way down here. No. Nope. There's the handgun bullets. And we're running a little bit low, so that's good. So, grab the crank, and let's get out of this room, because we really need to. I am really having trouble. Sorry about that. So, I'm trying something different for this uh, section. I did I did a first episode by itself to uh, test out the audio settings and stuff. And this uh, should be the rest of it. I've pretty much tuned it the way I want it. So we should have no issues now. Hopefully. I hope this is good audio volume to microphone volume ratio to for you guys. So, yeah. Anyways. Oh, also, as I'm doing this, I'm going to put a little update disclaimer in this. Um... I updated my hardware on my computer, and before I did all that, I forgot to back up all of my stuff. So I lost all of my saved data for uh, my games, I lost my recordings, so yeah, stupid on my part, but I'm sorry. Really? One dude? You're supposed to all jump up at me. Oh well kill that other dude who was on the ground already trying to get up. Man, now they're just making me waste ammo. I am having such a hard time trying to do this. Alright, if we come down here. Some more hanging bullets. Always appreciate those. Alright, anyway, so this is the second desk location. We open this baby up, we get a little box, and in the box is the handgun parts. So we can make the custom handgun. Now this adds burst fire capabilities, and it uh, adds a stock so we're more accurate. Anyways, so we can come over here and grab this red herb. But what we're really interested in doing is going up here and using up that crank we've been carrying around for a little bit. So if I had to give an estimate, I'd say we're about 20% through the, uh, the police department already. It really isn't that long, though, but, like, well, the game isn't really that long, but it doesn't have a lot to do with stuff, and we don't even have to go up there for now. 
We just did that to get rid of the crank because we never, ever, ever, ever need it again through the entire game, which is awesome. We go over here, watch your ears. It's a bit loud, so if you see that little plaque right there, it's the code combo. Now if you know what I'm talking about, it's the shelves, so you gotta put them in the order. It's super easy, you just gotta move the far left to the right one time and then you're good to go. And then it opens up revealing the first plug of the game. And we need four of these. The Bishop. I call him Dwight. Except, uh, not for that piece. Anyways. If you get the reference, leave a comment below and... Yeah. Alrighty then. Yeah. Get off of me. Alright. So we just gotta waste the ammo. Now a nice little trick for all you uh, people using this as a walkthrough. If you use up all the ammo in your gun and then use the custom parts on it, it will refill it. Magic. Anyways, we've also got this little ladder right here that we can stick down and get ready to go. Now, I haven't saved for a while, but I'll probably save in the next room, because that is actually the first working perfect good save room. Alright, are we out of bullets? Alright, we're out of bullets. So, combine. There we go. Custom handgun. Also, it does more damage, too, which is really nice. Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. Alright. Anyways. So, if you're good, you can just tap it slightly to shoot one bullet, or you can hold it to shoot three. Or you can go in the menu and turn it off. So there's the other small key, but we really don't need that because we're not actually going to run out of hanging bullets by my calculations. Because I have played this game many a time before without running out. No problem. No sweat. So we're going to reload our shotgun while we're here, and I pressed the wrong freaking button again. Derpity derp. Alright. We are going to need these. And I'm gonna save here because, yeah, haven't saved yet, so probably would be a good idea. Wait, we're actually gonna put it on memory card too. All right, Leon A01 waiting room. All right, cool. Put that back. Let's get out of this place. Just like that. Okay. Nope. Get on your knees. Alright, reload. Can't actually go that way yet, as you can tell. But, anyways. So, this really isn't a hard game. Like, even on normal mode, it's super easy. So, we can unlock this, and that's where the three creatures are. Uh, there's also more- OW! Get the- get- get off me! Let me get these handgun bullets, please. Thank you. Jeez Louise. Alright, also, watch your ears. Ow! Anyways, I did up the volume on the game a little bit, so that might hurt some people's ears. Anyways, so we're not even gonna mess with that on fire chopper yet. Because we gotta go this way. Alright, now, word of advice don't kill anybody here because you're never ever coming back this way. So, there really is no point. You can just dodge them all super easy. 
and come out to this little shack out here in the woods. Well, it's not actually in the woods, but yeah, there's nothing over here. It's just eh. over here is what we want, though. Oh yes, a valve handle and some handgun bullets, which are always nice. And we can take that if we want, but. Now, you don't want to go out this door. You know why? Well, let's just show you why. Just because I can. Ah! Zombies! Yeah, oh well. Anyway. So, uh, yeah. We are getting a- oh, crap. There are four keys in this one. Hold on a sec. Alright, so sorry about that if you heard anything. Um, I'll probably just edit it out, but someone came in just talking to me. So. Sorry if you hear my nasal voice and just congestion. I, mean, I apologize for that. It's just, and wanted to get this done, you know, tomorrow, uh, tomorrow's the first day of school, so yeah. Alright, anyways, so now that puts out the fire, and we can get into that other door, like, on the other side of the hallway. Now, we're not going to use this valve handle for quite a bit longer in the game, actually, after that. Also, hidden hangar bullets, you know, just because... I mean, it is a police chopper, so... I'd imagine they'd have some kind of ammunition in there, but... I'd assume a fire would set it off. And make it not valuable, or viable to be shot with a gun anymore. Because it would set the gunpowder off and everything. Anyway. Excuse me. Alright, so, no, well, well, this is what we want, and this is also what we want, second precinct key, this one is the diamond key, so, when we're here, we use these red jewels and stick them in the chests of these, uh, statue things, in the walls. And this statue opens up. Revealing the second plug, the king plug. Alright, so now we can just get out of here. Alright, so now that we have that, we can go to the... Get the third plug. So if we come over here, we can go dump the other plug. We'll also dump this valve handle because we're not going to use that for a long freaking time. I can assure you of that. Anyway. So we'll come back out here. Actually, eh, whatever. I kind of took the long way around. I could have done a different way, which would have been faster, but I kind of jerked about it. Oh well. Too late to go back now. Gosh, my, my mind is failing me on what I have to do here. Like, just a little bit. Um. 
Oh yeah, before you go and do that, you should go and do that, okay, cause, yeah. Oh well, since we're here, we'll just do it out of order. That's not too hard. Alright, so there's one spot to use the diamond key. And this is actually where we get the third plug. We're gonna be leaving here pretty soon. We also get the electric cord. We get this, um, first aid spray. And the other plug. Also a liquor. But, eh, not a very nice present. Thank you, game designers. You guys are jerks. <laughs> I've got all the jump scares memorized and stuff, so don't. It doesn't really scare me anymore, but oh well. So now we're gonna go check up on our friend who was uh, obviously very much in pain last time we saw him. So. a little bit but now let's go dump these things real quick because we're here that was the wrong way i apologize for my stupidity Alrighty then. so we dump this first aid spray Dump the third plug. Got a spot ready for the fourth one. Am I gonna need this soon? Yeah, I'll need it semi recently. Or semi soon. Actually, yeah, I'll need it right after we get to the next area. Or the next key, I mean. Which our friend has for us. So, the cord you can use in that green box and it closes the shutters along that uh, wall, all the windows that are shattered. Yeah, it'll it'll close metal shutters like that, but we're going to use it in a much better area for the second mission, which makes things a lot easier for Claire, which is the second uh, character in this game. As you probably already guessed, but oh well. Can't be too careful. So... Now we can go here and open this door. Now we're probably gonna want the shotgun for this, but eh. Get off of me, you scrub. Alright, I think I pretty much took them all out. That guy's dead now. You gotta be careful with this gun though, because you can use it. Oh, jeez, I forgot about that one. Maybe I was wrong about all the jump scares. Am I not hitting him? Freaking hit him like 80 times. No. The reason we came in here was, uh, where is it? Is it, is it really not even on this side? And I'm about to die. Fantastic, guys. We're off to a good uh, base. Here it is. This is what we wanted. Should have used that shotgun a little more. Am I right? We're gonna need this in the next room. Ow. Ow. This really is a problem. I really cannot survive like this. Good thing there's a green herb right here. At least something's looking okay for me. I'm definitely gonna need that. Yo, dude, you alright? Hey, man. Oh, hey, he's okay. <laughs> or not. Oh, well. He's 
a good guy while it lasted. And this is the uh, second to last key. The heart key. So, sorry man, you're dead. Uh, that sucks, but oh well. Come over here. That little Leon. Me? Yeah, just talking about how he's. they're glad that I'm a part of the team. Too bad I killed all of you. <laughs> Some secret hanging bullets. Unlock the door and we're out of here. Alright, so now that we've got this heart key, we're actually going to be going to a nice little area where there's lots of healing items and we'll be okay to live longer. Check this guy for the hanging bullets he has. Yes, yes I did. Alright. Oh, our lifesavers. And I'll just pick one up for good measure because we're gonna get red herbs soon that we can combine with this. Because red herbs are very nice. Because red plus green equals full heal, and full heals are so duper awesome. Anyways, so I got the key, so now we can go here. And it's useless now. It's the only door it opens in the entire place. Oh wait, I forgot, there's actually two herbs here too! Huh, well that was kind of stupid of me, but oh well. Anyways, so we're gonna take care of it. That's not what I meant. We're gonna take care of this. And just like that, I feel a little more protected. We're also gonna go over here and grab some more hidden shotgun shells. No, I said yes. Sweet. All right. So now we're gonna go down here. What's up? Where you at? Now this part is a bit interesting. You gotta go backwards. And trust me when you do this, because you really need to. And then you run... So, uh, yeah. So now we want to go here. And it's time for another amazingly hard puzzle. Are you guys ready for it? I don't think you are. Like, I seriously doubt you guys are ready for this. You gotta do the power supply right. Are you ready for the secret answer? Yep, another grueling puzzle by Capcom and Co. Also the map of the basement. Sweet. So we're making pretty good progress in this. Like, we are really, uh, eh, 40% through the game. Ah, oh, lovely, a red herb. Hmm. 
Now, do I really need to go this way right now? Because, as you can hear, there's, or probably could have heard already, there's dogs, and I don't want to mess with them right now. And I could probably just completely avoid this safe room altogether, which I will. I just wanted that red herb. All these other rooms we can just ignore for now, because we can't even go with them. Yeah, but over here is where we need to go. To the parking garage. And we're gonna meet somebody. She tried to kill us. Ada Wong. Sorry about that. When I saw the uniform, I thought you were another zombie. I'm using a gun. How am I a zombie? Who are you? Ada Wong. Look, look at the vent. They've misspelled dial. And what are you doing here? It's spelled a D-A-I-L. I'm looking for some guy named Ben. He's one of those reporter types. Always looking for a scoop. <laughs> I heard he was locked up in the cell block. Look, Only there's a wrecked car barring the entrance. I've been trying to find another way inside. If we work together, we can move this thing. Give me a hand here, will you? Alright, sure. Yeah, I just can't believe they misspelled it. Like, look, right there. Right there. D-A-I-L. Ah, come on, man. So unprofessional. Maybe the dude who wrote it was dyslexic. Excuse me. Get in your parking space, stupid car. And if we want another green herb, we could totally take one, because we're about to actually go to another safe room that's literally right next to the other one, so I usually just ignore that one completely, because this one's just super close already anyway. Ada, wait! Oh, that's not the first time this is gonna happen. It's gonna happen a lot more than that. Yo! Hanging bullets. Sweet. There's a bunch of herbs in that cell over there, but this one... Let me guess. You must be Ben, right? Get up! Now! Why are you being so mean to him? What do you want? I'm question. trying to sleep here. Yeah. Yeah, Leon, leave me alone. Is this the guy? Ben? You told the city officials that you knew something about what's been going on, didn't you? What did you tell them? Why you and care? who the heck are you? I'm trying to find my boyfriend. His name's John. He was working for a branch office of Umbrella, based in Chicago, but he suddenly disappeared six months ago. I heard a rumor that he's here in the city. Ouch. Such I don't know on. anything. And even if I did, why would I want to tell you? <laughs> That's right. Okay, I say we leave him in there. Does anyone know where they put the key to this cell? I have it right here, officer. <laughs> But I'm not about to leave this cell. Those zombies aren't the only things crawling around out there. Oh, you could be sure of that. What was that? Like I said, I'm not leaving this cell. Get out of here before you lead it right to me. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. I'm the only cop left alive in this building. What? How long has he been in there? Look, if you want to live, then you're gonna have to leave with me. But, do you even know how to get out of the city? There's a kennel in the back of the building. Inside the kennel is a manhole. Go through and it'll lead you to the sewer entrance, but it won't be easy. All right, I'm going. All right, bye, Ada. You forgot the manhole opener. Oh, thanks, game. For... All of you who can't tell, we're on the far left in that little two-slot area right there, yeah. The only other door in this area. Thanks, game. We needed that info. Bye, Ben. Sayonara. Alrighty, then.
gonna even just ignore that noise, because their dogs are caged. If you go over there, they'll not be caged yet, so you just don't want to mess with them. Alrighty, down into the sewers. We're making pretty good time on this. Spiders. Everybody loves spiders. You really don't even have to kill them ever if you're good. Alright, storage room. Yep. That's exactly what it is. It's a very nice, clean storage room. Eh, yeah, I'll take it. I'd say it's time for the next save, maybe. Well, actually... Not really. Okay. So let's go dump some more herbs. Let's dump those. Yeah, we're pretty much good. We just need to empty our inventory. Oh wait, actually, there's other things that I wanted to get. That I forgot about. And just remembered, because, yeah. Go me! We actually need all the plugs. Oops. Now, we don't have all of them yet, but we can just get rid of them for now. Well, yeah, we can get rid of them now, and then when we get the other one, we won't have to worry about the other three. Alright, so we got this, and we need to use them here. It's a weird checker, or, I mean, checker, chessboard lock thing. There's actually a note about it if you read it, um, but you don't really, you know, you don't really have to. Anyways. Oh, hey, look, there she is. Ada? I don't think I've introduced myself yet. My name's Good Leon. You, Leon. I'm with the RPD. <laughs> she doesn't care. It's a dead end. It's totally a dead you end. You think we can get upstairs through this shaft? I don't know. Give maybe. me a boost. I'll go and check. What does she mean upstairs? Does she mean outside or? I'm confused what she means. Oh well. The cesspool. What a terrific name. <gasps> Ow, come on! Shotgun shells. No, Ada can't actually use the shotgun, nor does she have it, or ever will have it, but. Eh. And this is the only time you can ever get those in Leon's A mission. Like, you can't get them any other way. And Claire can't even use a shotgun, so. Alright, we can grab a map too. Uh, no, grab the map, thank you. Alright. So now, okay, okay, jump down. Thank you. Now a little blast from the past, shall we? Oh, these boxes look awfully familiar, don't they? Remind you of something, don't they? Hmm. Oh, well, I guess it's not the first time you've seen this head, is it? 
So these are the same exact boxes from the water puzzle in Resident Evil 1. So yeah. Yeah, just some generic box pushing. Nothing you haven't ever seen before. And... Hit the switch. Oh, I am really sorry about my na uh, congestion. It's really bad. I'm sorry. Anyways, come over here. The final precinct key. Now I have no idea what it's doing in the sewers exactly. But, oh well. I don't really care either. Anyways. So we have completed our mission to find out what's going on over here. So we could just head back to Leon now. Leon, can you hear me? Ada, did you find anything? Right here. Sweet. Think fast. Here's one more. Nice. Hey, I can't reach the ventilation hole. I'm going to have to find another way around. I'll catch up with you later. Ada, wait! And there it is again. Oh well. Excuse me, can you please pick up the club key? And the shotgun shells. Alright, let's get the frick out of Dodge. We'll come back soon enough. Ow, you suck. Oh well. Ow! Jerk! Now I'm holding my chest because of poison, but we won't have to deal for that, with that for very long, because uh, guess who has a uh, blue herb for us? That's right, Ben. Now, not him per se, but it is in the cell next to his. So we'll just head over there and grab that real quick. At least I'm pretty sure there's a blue one in here. Yep. Alright. Sweet. Come on, caution? Dang it. It's because that other spider hit me. Did I take that green herb that was over in the corner? I don't think I did. I did. Ah, oh, crap. Oh well. Oh well, time for funsies. As you can probably tell from the fact that I equipped in my shotgun. It's always fun time when you have a shotgun. Can you tell what it is that's coming to kill me? Kapuya! Kapuya! Where the other one at? Hey, <laughs> get up. Get up. You're dead, son. Good thing we got these shotgun shells, ain't they? Alright, so now we've got a few different choices of where we could go. First place we're gonna go is here. We actually have three different rooms we can unlock with the club key, and this one I chose to be the first one for I don't know why, but oh well. It's probably a bad idea. Considering. I'm not very really good for this. Actually, I'm not good enough. I might be able to Hey, look at that. 
Only two shotgun shells. Sweet. And that cleared up a nice little space of inventory for us. Alright. Oh, wait. Derp. The card key can only be used over here. And it's very good. It's, 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 oh. Oh, yeah. You need to do this. If you expect yourself to be able to live through this game. Ammo for days. It's beautiful, isn't it? Is there one or two boxes of ammo? Or shotgun shells, I mean. And then there's a machine gun and a side pack. I'll take the machine gun, because I'll leave the side pack for Claire. Is there any more shotgun ammo, or is that it? That was it, okay. No, I think I'll equip this for a bit, just cause. Now usually I can get through this game without even using the submachine gun, which I usually do, but... Huh. It's usually cause I don't use the submachine gun. Anyways, so yeah, we, you know how we just got a new weapon? Well, we're gonna get another one. We could go in here. Now, the police department is completely 100% empty now, just so you guys know. Um, there's some more shotgun shells here. Huh, that's weird. I could have sworn it was a first aid spray last time. <laughs> oh well. Ooh, a zombie. <laughs> oh, baby. And that's what we came here for. Yep, this is the one that talks about the, uh, special key thing. Sorry if that was a little fast. Jeez, I cannot breathe at all. It really is a problem. Oh, I can't, I can't, oh no. Man. That was stupid of me. Oh well. We'll stop by a box. Actually, we won't. No, nope, we're not stopping by a box. Because we actually only need to go to the right, and there's not a box to the right. Well, right for Leon. Now, we're about to literally leave the police station. Like, literally, we just need to get the last key, and then we're never, ever coming back here ever again. And that's for the third and final door, the green one. All the way down to the discardation. Yes, I love it. Here, use the lighter. Alright. There we go. Yep. And we got the cog wheel. Game, but it just like the music kind of it's the, the ambient music is really good but it like it kind of gets to you after you've been playing this game for a while like you start feeling weird but i don't know i don't know if you guys are just watching this and you've never played the game um then you probably don't know what i'm talking about because you're too busy listening to my voice with that music or you're Listening to it a lot, and I don't know, something. Oh, or you've played the game before and you know exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, box, please. I don't know if 
we really need to do this, but eh. Better safe than sorry. Because I would rather be a full healed person. Okay. Uh, dump the magnum for now. Some shotgun shells. Um. Some machine gun. We really could just dump that too, because I don't really need that. I don't know, maybe. Oh, well, I'll just keep it on me for now. For now. Yeah, that's really all we need. Oh, wait. We need a green herb. We can't exactly heal ourselves without a herb. Sweet, back to fine. Alright. Because I'm just fine. Just kidding. <laughs> All right. Now you might want to hold R1 down and press X, just to bash it when you get in, because this guy. There we go. Takes care of business. You want to go this way. Oh. this. Well, the one you didn't close off is now killing zombies. Now, this doesn't really matter because second mission person never actually goes through that hallway if you know what you're doing. So, yeah. And we're never going back through that hallway. And we're not even going through the other one, either. Imagine that. Alright, so we can finally see what's up here. If Leon wasn't in the way. There we go. Hit it! We fixed the clock tower. Uh oh. Guess what's in here? Night plug Dwight. I hope they mean Dwight. Wee! That was fun. Ugh. Alright. No! Get, Get away! No! No! I'm just gonna run that way because it seems like the best idea for me to do that right now. Yeah. You know? I mean, Ben's obviously dead, so. Oh. Ben! Dang it. Can you still hear me? Come on, answer! Damn. I don't believe this. I almost got the story. <laughs> oh, too bad you're dead. Ben. Uh <laughs> Bitter irony. The chief of police, a co conspirator. Oh, get that scum. Make him. Pay. I like your ponytail, by the way. Hang in there, Ben. Oh, my chest. It's burning. Uh oh. What's wrong? What's wrong? Oh, dang. oh my gosh. Good God, what was that? It was a monkey. It grew out of his chest. Actually, it was a xenomorph. Never mind. Mail to the chief. Yeah, bitter irony. <laughs> Mr. Brian Irons. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. Where are you 
going, Ada? To the chemical plant. I have a feeling that's where I'll find John. Why? What makes Ada, you think he'll go wait. into the sewer? Hey! And it happened yet again. Do you read me, Claire? We now have access to the back of the parking lot. We've had access for the past 30 minutes. I'm getting out of here and heading to the sewer. Can you meet me there? I'm on my way. Alrighty then. Did we already use both of those? Yeah, we did. Alright. So we're never, ever, ever coming back. That was the last thing we'll ever see of the police station. Say goodbye to the old place, guys. It's pretty much screwed. Because after this, it gets blown up. So, well, I guess the entire city really gets blown up. You want some of this? How much is that? Only 6%. Nice. You still alive? You're dead. Sweet red herb. No problems. Hey look, their names are Jojo and Rocket. Or Rocky. Rocky. I can't tell. Oh well. How nice. Thank you. Sweet. That's literally the best thing you can do with it, is just that. Because other than that, I never, ever, ever use it. Alright. Are you ready? Okay, now we're gonna save, because this is a great time to save. We're also going to switch out the shotgun for this baby. We're gonna bring... Actually, eh, I guess we can reload real quick. Alright. Put it away. Red herb all the way down here. Yada yada yada. Bring that full heal, because it's boss time, actually. Yes, you heard me right, it's boss time! Number two. Alright, this is all we're gonna need for this boss battle. Let's do this thing! Oh look, it looks like the other thing's turned. Ugh! I just had a head come out of its butthole. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's twin so much. me. Check. And we don't need to go back because there's a safe room. I'm pretty dang sure. How did you do that? Ada. Are you a magician? What? That's the one thing I'm so confused about. How did she get here? What was that all about? Running off like that was reckless and stupid. Those zombies are everywhere, not to mention that thing that got Ben. I was there, Leon, I know. 
Look, Ada, as an officer, it's my job to look out for you. But we're not going to get through this alive if we don't work together, okay? All right. We'll do this your way for now. All right, let's go. I'm gonna take out my handgun because. Eh. So yeah, um, I'd say we're about 50% through the game now. There's always some of these in case you got poisoned by the last boss or the spiders. Well, when I say last, I mean the boss. Yada yada yada. More hanging bullets. Always a treat. Alright, Magnum will be dumped and will not be seen for a very, very long time. We will not waste that full heal when we were able to use a regular. super dark in here, but you can figure out what to do. Sweet. Magnum bullets. So we can reload that magnum. If you notice over here, there's another one. Shoddy shells. Now, why Ada didn't come down here with us, I don't understand, but, oh well. Maybe she just wasn't scripted that way. Probably. Oh well. to talk to her. Wait, you know who she is? All right, let's just leave Leon to die. Excuse me. The burps for days. Just use Ada to kill these spiders, because you won't be playing her for very long. You can just waste up all her ammo. Actually, if I'm not mistaken, this is the last time you play Ada. Anyways, just a nice little thing to do for Leon. I think that's all of them. Could be wrong. But I hope not. Oh, jeez. Those things will kill you, by the way, if you get too many of them on you. Like, maybe one or two, but more than that, you're, you're dead. Oh, yeah, I, f I knew I forgot something. That little thing shows you that it's it's a hint that you need the uh, valve. You're the one who was with that cop, if I'm handle. not mistaken. Identify yourself. Ada? Right, Ada Wong. Time. Ada Wong. I've heard that name before. Now I remember. One of the men from Chicago who came to assist the T-Virus research used his girlfriend's name as his password. Ada and John, I believe. How did you know? Who are you? 
Annette Birkin. My husband is the man responsible for the creation of the T-Virus. William Birkin. What? John's dead. He became one of those zombies. My condolences. And although I regret this, you will be joining him shortly. I won't let anyone take the G-Virus away from me. G-Virus? It's capable of creating the ultimate bioweapon. Its potential is even greater than that of the T-Virus. Then that must mean the creature in the police department is... Precisely... My husband, William. And it's all Umbrella's fault. None of this would have happened if they hadn't tried to steal his research away from him. This way. It's sheer perfection. My precious G-Virus. No one will ever take you away from me. It's been there he is. So you finally come. Doctor, we're here to collect the G-Virus sample. Sorry. But I won't just hand over my life's work. You might hit the sample. That's it, all right. Okay, let's move out. William. Oh, my. Hold on, darling. I'm taking care of that bullet wound first. Stay here. Alpha team, have you retrieved the sample yet? Affirmative. We'll be at the rendezvous point in one minute. Roger. Are you telling me that he injected the G virus into his own body? The G virus has the ability to revitalize cellular functions. What, what, what was that? Something's wrong. Let's check it out. Over there! Shoot! Eat this, you freak! I'm stopping it! What is this thing? What is this thing? Fire! Fire! You son of a... So those rats were the carriers of the virus. As a result of his virus-induced transmutation, William should have lost any prior memories he had as a human by now. Even worse, every G-Virus bioweapon, including William, has the ability to implant embryos into other creatures. And create offspring. No. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad. Good job, Ada. Alrighty then. Leon's not. Ada? I forgot something and I have to go back to get it. <laughs> There's actually a first aid spray right here that I forgot about as well. 
anyhow. We need this. Now, you guys could have guessed, but it's actually time for another boss battle. So Leon can't go up there, because that's on now. But he does need to come over here so he can get this. And that. Well, at least now we know what all the dead bodies in the sewer is about. This one has a file, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, but you actually have to lower the water first. Oh well. Shells. Now, it is a boss battle, and I do seem very unprepared, but just wait. I'll show you how prepared I am for this. Ada! What are you doing? You're an idiot! That's right, it's an alligator. It's a very loud alligator. Anyways. Hold on to your hat, boys and girls. This is about to get fucked. Come on! I got a nice tasty treat for you. got shot, I'm bleeding out. Um, let me just wade through all this gross sewer water. Leon. <sighs> this bullet wound isn't making things any easier. You just got it. Quiet, Leon. I'll patch you up. What? That's too high. Where did she get the gauze? Don't mention it. Did she just, like, pull it out of her purse? I just found purse. out. John's dead. What? Oh, never Good mind. News for Leon. Let's just get out of here. The sooner the better. You can say that again. Ah, there we go. 
least I am, sorry guys. Second half of the equation. Now we're going to the last area of the game. with the twist. Zombies. Oh well. And they vomit. Nato, take care of the spiders. Come on. Pull your weight. Seriously. Jeez. Oh well. Doesn't matter. Don't use that one hit kill method on the alligator. There's uh, ammo here for you. Shotgun and pistol, I think. But yeah. Alright. Into the tram. on this flare gun, it'll light up and the, the key will start sparking. So, yeah. So it's not technically 100% like impossible to find if you don't know to look there, but you don't have to do it, is what I'm saying. So we're switching the shotgun for this little area. Hey, 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 get off! And here's why. Oh, yes. Shotgun horns. Another one? Yeah. And once we add those shotgun parts, it'll make it as strong as the Magnum. Which is pretty freaking strong, might I add. Baby. 
right now. Let's see what it does to this guy. It took out his whole body, or whole, his half, it took out his head and half of his face, or well, half of his body. Oh yeah. And that's why it's the best gun in the entire game. My all-time favorite. It just blows him away. And by this time, we should have amassed enough shotgun rounds to just sit there and do that with every single person in the game. Like the rest of the game, we can just use only shotgun rounds, if I'm not mistaken. Probably am, knowing me, but... Also, extended barrel, which uh, means extra shells and capacity, so, which is also very good. <laughs> oh yeah, we've got lots of shots. And we're never ever gonna use that again. Uh, we can dump this for now. Or... Yeah, I guess for this fight, we can dump it. Probably want to bring one of those. Actually, most likely, I'd probably want one of these, too. Good old number three. And the key to the control panel outside. So we're ready to go. What the 
that's just to signify that that arm is deadly and you want to avoid it at all costs. Don't die on me, Ada. Come on! Wake up! Come on! She did. Now, for any of you who've played Outbreak by chance, you might recognize this place. It seems oddly familiar. That's right. We're in a close underground secret laboratory. Hey, there's a phone! Call the police! Welcome Call someone! Back. The army! Hey, take it easy. We're inside Umbrella's secret lab. I'll go find something to treat that wound, so just rest here in the meantime. But I'll only slow you down with these injuries. Go. Save yourself. I told you, it's my job to look after you. But... She literally just got her arms cut up. Stay That's with it. Me. I know I've only known you for a short period of time, but I really enjoy being with you. Ugh. I... I know I'm not capable of caring about anyone, but I don't want to lose you. We're leaving this place together. Wait here for me. I'll be right back. <laughs> Not really. We really at this point could just do whatever the frick we want. Just kill, maim, butcher, destroy, just shoot everything and anything we want with all our weaponry. I mean, we definitely want to save some custom magnum bullets for the end game boss, but still. We could pretty much just roll with the shotgun as our main for now. And on the off chance that I'm wrong... Oh well, I'll just save it. If I'm wrong, you'll... I'll, I'll cut it out and replay from this save. And you'll notice that I'm only using this in... Handgun. Oh yeah. Let's see, 52 shots? Freaking 59 shots right there of shotgun ammo that I'm pretty sure we could just completely just destroy everything and anything that gets in our way. This, we're gonna need this. This, not so much. Alright, let's go. Stretch. I could do this in like 15 minutes. Alright, to the blue. Because we gotta get power back. And it's time for another grueling puzzle.
that's just how hard it is. That was the puzzle. Every everything in the game with orange or I mean green for the rest of the game. Also flamethrower. Let's use the shotgun on it. No, let's use this. Now we want to use the shotgun. Oh yeah. And what's the fruits of our labor? Two boxes of shotgun shells. Oh yes. Now let's get out of here. I've never understood what those things were, but I think I just discovered it. They're a clipping of the giant thing on the left. It makes sense. Wow, there really is not a lot of ammo for that flamethrower. Oh well, those are the only three of those things in the entire game. Not having any of that today. Also, this range of the shotgun. You will not leap at me. So BOW guess weakens all of the weapon or all of the biological weapons in this area for a short amount of time. So very useful. Well, not a short amount of time. I mean, all the time. But yeah, everything's weakened. So. It's the map. Not like we need it. Yeah, we really, we really could just finish the game now. I can just dump this. We're getting dumped, we're getting dumped. Yeah, I'm pretty much ready for the end of the game now. that way at all ever. This though, definitely want to pick this up. Hey guys, 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 guess what? We're at Birkin's Laboratory.
also, my baby's in here. Ugh, I forgot you have to actually press X on it. The custom magnum parts! Frick yeah! Not having it. For some reason, it doesn't split these zombies in half. Oh well. Now, we don't even need to go that way. You can't even go in there until you have this card key, but there's really no point at all because you can register for some special crap. But you don't. Yeah. Oh well. Let's take out our baby and have a little fun with it, shall we? said no that's what I want all right ready for guys Kapuya oh yeah yeah I'll put this I'll push the light switch holy crap look at that spread I can't believe I hit him when he was like behind me. And this is what we need to end the game. <laughs> After amassing all these items, weapons, and equipment. You! Uh -oh. You murdered my husband! Yeah! I know what you're looking for! What? You came for the G virus, didn't you? No. Never I want to escape. From me. You're crazy. This is my husband's legacy. Good for him. No. Get out while you still Where's can. Where's that spy you were working with earlier? Huh? You know who I'm talking about. What? You really don't know anything, do you? <laughs> You're so gullible. She's one of the operatives sent here by the agency. The reason why she came here is to obtain the G-Virus. Yeah, air quotes. Agents. That's a lie. 
No, it's the truth. I discovered this when I did a background check on her. She's supposed to be dead. She specifically got close to John and became his girlfriend to get information about Umbrella. That can't be. Then who is I this know third her. party agency? Ada wouldn't do something like oh, that. Oh yeah, the thing run by... If you don't want to believe it, I don't really care. You're about to die anyway. What happened? <laughs> What's up? You alright? Oh, oh. The self destruct sequence has been activated. Repeat. The self destruct sequence has been activated. This sequence may not be aborted. All employees proceed to the emergency car at the bottom platform. Let's get the frick out of here. I've been waiting for you, Leon. What? What? <laughs> what are you doing? You know what this is about. So just hand over the G-Virus. I don't believe this. Annette was right. About everything. That's why I told you to leave without me, but you wouldn't listen. I was now about hand to go it leave over. without even going back Don't to check make on me you. shoot you. You can't. Surprise, mother trucker! 
Until detonation. Love how it's Ada's voice. Come on, hit the button.
find my brother. You're right. This is just the beginning. was Resident Evil 2. Half of it, anyway. <laughs> we still have to play the other half. Anyways, I'm gonna pause this. Just so you guys don't have to watch the credits. You can look them up online if you want to, but... Yeah. And then I'll, uh... Bring it back when... This is done. So, yeah. Alright, so what'd we get? A! Ranking A! 2 hours and 11 minutes, 53 seconds, 5 saves, frick to the mother trucking yes! And do you know what that means that we get for the next episode? When, when I say episode, I mean... Session. Because <laughs> we're going to be playing the other half of the game. Oh yes, that is what we get, but we get less points by using that. Oh well. That thing is freaking awesome. I'll just say that now, that thing is amazingly awesome. Alright. And we got the other half of it for... Claire B. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'm Gigi Wolf, signing out. Comment, rate, subscribe, like, all that jazz you feel I deserve. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out, guys.